In this video, we'll be creating an animated CSS menu button that changes to a cross button on click. Uh, you might have seen that in one of my other videos or some other vi somewhere else, and that's what obviously brings you to um, this video. Now, I've got this basic index.html setup here with, with Bootstrap and jQuery. Uh, don't worry about the other files. All you need is a Bootstrap and jQuery, and you don't need anything else. Now. One of the most important thing is all you need is doesn't matter if it's in center or anywhere for the illustration purposes i put it in the center it looks uh, visible to everyone who is watching this video now um, only thing we need here is um, an anchor tag because an anchor tag is going to will be targeting that selector to toggle between the classes so let's get started so very first thing we need is remove this menu we're going to add a div with a class of menu button btn and base and we'll be copying this one three times and we'll add a bottom class to the bottom div and a middle to the middle div and the top to the top div and that's it there's nothing else to do here right now then we'll go to our local um, CSS style sheet and we're gonna play with some uh, style rules to give a shape to our button and if I refresh it should be gone there was something from the uh, previous uh, previous sheet anyway now let's uh, start with the menu button now the menu button is the class the menu button is the um, ID and menu is the class so we're gonna call it menu uh, just leave it to menu that's okay so we're gonna call it menu our menu button has a height of uh, 30 pixels and a width of 50 pixels and it's displayed as block and then we target the base class which is menu button base and it has a width 100% height 6 pixels and it has border radius 3 pixels and a border of 1 uh, let's just say uh, let's just say 3 pixels solid and hash and let's say 52 52 52 and that gives us this or we can call it just black that's fine for the uh, videos now another thing we need is we need to set the origin of this because that's what we are rotating actually so zero percent fifty percent and then transition will be applying transition to the transform property 0.3 seconds is and that's all good another thing we need now is we need to give some margin to the top and bottom margin in the middle uh, bar so we can see the button so let's go to menu button base dot middle and give it a margin of 10 pixels and uh, left right is zero and then refresh that looks pretty good to me and now all we are doing is we'll create uh, transform rotate property for the top and the bottom and the center bar will be scaled down to zero so we'll be targeting transform scale property there it'll be basically invisible hidden and this will uh, rotate to align crosswise and this will rotate to align cross crosswise that's how uh, from the top of my head I can think of then all this happens in an active class so we'll be toggling basically using jQuery we'll be applying adding and removing that class on the button click let's get uh, let's get some CSS first so menu button base um, let's do middle first because all we're doing is scaling it down to zero active transform scale and I can say zero then dot menu button 
base dot top dot active and I'm gonna say transform I'm gonna say rotate and I'm gonna say let's say 40 degrees and I'm just gonna copy this and paste this here and just change this to middle ah not sorry bottom what am I thinking and change this angle to minus minus 40 degrees now that should be all good for now we have to target uh, using jQuery the toggle function so the ID is menu button so come come down to just underneath your jQuery anywhere underneath your jQuery once the jQuery is loaded you can use the jQuery functions the selectors and everything so we're gonna use script and then document ready and then give me the um, anchor tag with an ID of menu button and when I click that ID then I want you to do what's inside this anonymous function and what I want you to do is basically in this selector I want you to find um, all the classes with the name of menu button base and then I want you to toggle a class if it's not there I want you to add active but if it's there I want you to remove it now that's uh, pretty much the uh, all the jQuery we need so we can target menu button which is here and it's gonna find menu button base which is here and it's gonna uh, apply active class and then on act when that active class is being applied it's going to remove the middle uh, bar it's going to ro rotate the top bar uh, 40 degrees down it's going to rotate 40 degrees up let's see if it works it does work however however this is not uh, so I think if we put it in the brackets that should be okay it's good I'm happy with that the only thing that I don't like right now is the angle 40 degrees it's not really the precise angle and how I actually achieve this angle so basically based upon what what's the height of this button and based upon what width you're choosing if you're choosing 50 or 30 that's okay but if you're choosing some other values use those values so all you need is the height divided by base and then you do a sign inverse and it'll give you the precise angle it's probably like 38 degrees and something but usually this button is going to be very small so you can't really see the the offset but if you if you're going to use a very big button it's better to be as precise as possible all right guys so uh, have fun play with it and maybe you can take it to another level add something else to it so make sure to subscribe like and comment and if you face any difficulties just um, yeah write down in the comment section and I'll get back to you thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video